Halleluja! Halleluja! Amen! Halleluja! Umuti hofa, eu fui minyango. Umuti hofa, eu fui minyango. Haya geho, onga vala. Halleluja! Siti umuti hofa, eu fui minyango. Umuti hofa, eu fui minyango. Haya geho. Ongafan, umuche hova, efuli minyango. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Haya geko. Efuti umuche hova, efuli minyango. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 
seated what a night please find a place to sit and tonight I want to welcome to the pulpit the chairman of the central planning committee of the healing Jesus campaign here in Port Elizabeth. Let's welcome him with a hand clap as he comes to also introduce the board of trustees. Apostle Ali Dimpatea. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How many are happy tonight to be in this place? Oh, if you are really happy, give me a J. Give me an E. Give me an S. S. Give me a U. U. Give me an S. S. What do we have? Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, there is healing in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, give Jesus a clap offering tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Tonight is another night. God is in this place. God has visited our city. Oh, tonight we are honored. The word of the Lord says how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Oh, we are grateful to God that the healing Jesus campaign the healing Jesus has campaign. brought the body of Christ this to work as one man. Yes, and tonight on the list of the honorable the people, people, people to be standing here the before you. People. This work has been a work of the corporate body of Christ. The and in our midst are people that I'm not worthy to mention their names. As I said, I'm just the least of the apostles of the men of God. I'm here tonight because we have a cloud of witness. The fathers of the city have made this work to be possible. So tonight, without wasting any time, I want to try it. I want, to, I want you to help me to raise the man of God. One of the generals of the city Neville Goldman. Neville Goldman. I want you to come over and, and introduce our speakers tonight. Apostle Thank Neville you very much, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. God Sing bless you. Sing it's my joy and my privilege tonight to commend and to acknowledge that God must love us very much to have to come to visit us in this manner. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 2 verse 13 now when they had departed Behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother and flee to Egypt and stay there until I bring you word for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. I want to say tonight God cannot forget Africa. Egypt became the refuge place for the Messiah. And therefore tonight, it takes an African seed for an African solution. 
it takes you and I to be the change we want the world to be because if they never see us they will never be us tonight it's about the Christ Christ and I want to welcome the work of the board of trustees the workers that have worked so hard but most of all I want you to give yourselves a hand of praise for coming to the place of worship it's my joy and my privilege to welcome to the platform a son of the soil. It's our privilege tonight to acknowledge the partnership with our own municipality in the effort of taking back our city. This initiative is not a political initiative. It's about our city having to be restored to its former glory. It's also about our city having to uphold the values of the icon of the city. Honorable Nelson Mandela. I think we can give the Lord a hand of praise right now. So it's my joy and my privilege tonight to welcome to this platform Councillor, the Honorable Executive Mayor Dr. Jen Danny Jordan. Danny Jordan. Can we put our hands together for the mayor of our city? Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Goldman. Uh, it's wonderful to be here at Dan Kaka Stadium. A stadium that has always brought people together. But tonight, in, in a very special way, for the Healing Jesus Campaign. For Healing Jesus Campaign. So I'd like to first of all welcome the evangelist Dag Hewitt Mills. Dag Hewitt Mills from Accra, Ghana. Also by Accra, Ghana. To Nelson Mandela City. Where's Okuza? Where's this place? Where's Nelson Mandela? I know that Ghana was the first African country to taste freedom on this continent. And it's wonderful that a son of the soil of the first independent country on the continent comes here to be in the city of another icon, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. Kwame Nkrumah and Nelson Mandela. Kwame Nkrumah kunye notatu Mandela. Were friends. Babes is so. Had a vision of an African continent and countries of Ghana and South Africa to walk and serve the people. Be no mbono wezwe kazi elikula se Afrika ukuze liambe likonza bandubalo. Injustice. Kubulungisa. Equality. Taking, taking care of every human being. So to evangelist Dag Hewitt Mills, it is a special honor to have you in the house. Today also, is World AIDS Day. 
And we had the statistics this morning. That the African continent is being ravaged by HIV and AIDS. And two of the countries struggling with HIV and AIDS are the two economic giants on this African continent. South Africa and Nigeria. Nigeria. So as we gather today and talk about the Healing Jesus campaign, the Healing Jesus campaign, we must also pray for our youth. Because the majority of them are between the ages of 14 and 19 and 60% are girls or women. And so as we gather here on this World AIDS Day we have to appeal to the churches to assist in dealing with this challenge. Nevertheless, we acknowledge and applaud the efforts of the churches and church leaders for being positive role models in our community and often taking the lead in social upliftment projects, skills development training, HIV and AIDS counseling and dealing with the trauma of violence against women and children. Therefore, we are gathered here this evening to build an agenda for change. To talk about the Healing Jesus campaign. Change for improvement of economic and social conditions in our Of improvement and to share the challenges and the pain of our community. So tonight is a very important gathering. We are therefore making an urgent appeal to all the churches to take a leading role against all forms of violence, abuse, and, and to partner with government and civil society to strengthen the co collaboration between government, civil society, and the church in order to enhance social cohesion and be at the forefront to deliver on the people's mandate and importantly on the moral and spiritual lives of our people. The church clearly can help to bring about social cohesion and a better life for all of our people. We therefore count on the church and the religious leaders to help build and restore the dignity of our people and the citizens of this metro. This evening, we acknowledge and applaud and recognize the indispensable role of all faith-based communities and those who have contributed and given support in the fight against HIV and AIDS and we will continue to work with you we wish to assure you that through our collective effort and interaction we will build trust 
and strengthen our bonds as we translate our actions into the realization of a metro free from HIV and AIDS of poverty of unemployment and inequality I want to say to all of you that what unites all of the people in this metro is the gospel. Is sharing the word as a basic foundation and something that remains the cornerstone of all that we do in this matter. The world that we live in is a material world. But amidst all of that, it's a glowing light of a better future. Premise on reconciliation, togetherness, and integration, and guided by campaigns like the Jesus Healing Jesus campaign. So I humbly appeal to you as a clergy and as members of the church to assist us in our campaign of moral regeneration as we reconstruct the, the material conditions of the people of our metro. We have to change our way of thinking. We have to change our lifestyles. And we have to respect the value of honest hard work and to treat the laws of the country as our own. We have to be totally intolerant to dishonesty, to corruption, and all of the things that denies our people of opportunity. So my call to all of you is to stand firm on the moral fiber of our people and be part of of responsible citizenry and this established the common good and common interests and responsibility of leadership in our metro. We must find solutions for the challenges of HIV and AIDS. And so we call on you to assist in the fight against the scourge and the destruction of our youth. All those present here our collective responsibility is to create an enabling environment and to ensure that Nelson Mandela May Municipality are able to respond eradicate HIV and AIDS and gender-based violence. The scourge of HIV and AIDS, violence and abuse threaten to erode the hard-earned liberation struggle victim. victims of HIV and AIDS children and women abuse deny women and children of their birthright. It condemns them to a life of stigmatization, a life of fear, and prevents them from being productive members of our society. Thus, we have a moral and statutory duty to create a Nelson Mandela Bay 
That is fit for its name. That's why I'd like to thank the church community for your continued and relentless health activism. We wish our church community and their respective ministers exponential growth inspired by the outreach and the success of God Almighty. We guide you and shower you with infinite blessings on our churches. In conclusion, I'd like to say to all of you, I wish you a happy, productive, and fulfilling Christmas season. And a happy new year. God bless you all. And may you have a blessed Healing Jesus campaign. I thank you. Amen. Folk could remain standing just for a moment. The mayor is going to light a candle. We're going to switch on our iPhones, cell phones. That's the new technology today. So I can see your light like that. Is that okay? Let's get them all up, right? And as the mayor lights that candle, we're going to trust God for his intervention into the lives even of those who have been orphaned through the scourge of HIV and AIDS. You're going to light it. You've got to watch the wind. See, this is a sure sign that we don't know how to light cigarettes anymore. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why we are called the friendly city. Amen. We are the friendly city. We know how to smile. We know how to face our storms also know how to operate in any situation. But are we ready? Right, let's lift it up. Father, we come before you in the powerful and wonderful name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. Jesus is not just the answer. He is the answer. He is the way. He is the life. He is the truth. We come before you and we bear up every son, every daughter. We declare today by the power of your might, no, no one of them will be out the knowledge of knowing that our God has a plan for each man, every woman, every son, every daughter. And as the mayor have declared today, we ask in Jesus' name, intervene, Lord. Change the destiny.
of those who have been infected by the scourge of HIV and AIDS. But we come today to declare it's not by might, it's not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And if you believe that God will intervene in the name of Jesus, give the Lord a shout of victory right where you are. We give you the glory, Lord. We give you the praise. Clap your hands for Jesus. Let's clap our hands for the executive mayor also. Let's appreciate him. And as you do, John, you will call you to bring us a song as we receive the evangelist tonight. You may please be seated. Hallelujah! Do you believe Jesus is here right now? If you believe that, kindly lift up your left hand. And if you believe Jesus will touch you, lift up the right one. And put your hands together for Jesus. Give Jesus a shout of praise.
Yesu Agerko Ofana na we Amadla ako maku Usuru Yesu Usini si Yesu Malu si Yesu Pili si Yesu Agerko Ofana na we
tonight. Lift your hands. Father, thank you for tonight. Thank you for your power, your mercies, your healing, your grace, your angels that are released into this stadium tonight. We thank you that you are such a healing Jesus. A Jesus who heals. Touch every life tonight. Change our lives forever. Let your power flow in this place. Thank you, Lord, for your great presence. We bind every foul spirit. Bind evil spirits that operate in this place. We cast them in Jesus' name. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the mercies of God. Support Elizabeth. In Jesus' name. And everyone shouted Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. First of all, I want to thank our wonderful pastors of Port Elizabeth and Nelson Mandela Bay. The apostles, the fathers, the pastors who have welcomed us to this great city. Pastors are the most important people anywhere. And I want to say God bless you for welcoming us and I know that your ministries will never be the same after this program. I also want to thank the authorities, the executive mayor, for being here to grace this occasion and his great support for all that the church of God is doing in Nelson Mandela Day. We are grateful for your participation. May God bless you and increase you. Amen. Amen. I want to thank all the other authorities. I see the speaker is also here. Thank you for your participation and your support. Amen. God bless you all. How many are ready for miracles tonight? All right. Tell somebody your life is going to be changed practically. In these three days. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight my message is entitled, All Dead People Are Still Alive. All dead people are still alive. All dead people are still alive. All you can take it as a kind of like announcement or news or information. I want you to listen very carefully. James chapter 4 and verse 14. We are chapter 4 verse 14. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor 
that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. What is your life? Don't Your life is like a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanisheth away. The fact that somebody or something has vanished does not mean that it does not exist. Yeah. It just it just goes away from your vision. Your life and my life and the life of all the people on the stage is like a vapor that is seen briefly then it's not seen. But it continues. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 as it is appointed unto men once to die as it is appointed unto men once to die but after this the judgment in other words after you die you must still be alive to be able to go to court to hear the case and then the judgment hey. the bible says it is appointed to man wants to die and then after that the judgment which means the court prosecution defenses final sentencing judgment I have a friend who has been going to court for five years last week was the judgment so on the judgment day he gathered himself together and went to court to listen to the judgment and he has been going to court for five and a half years finally to go and hear the judgment and of course he had to be alive to go and listen to the judgment <laughs> All dead people are still alive. Keep listening. Because life, death, and judgment is something everybody must understand. One day a brother was walking through a cemetery. And he was encouraging himself with the scriptures that were written on the tombstones. One of the scriptures that he encouraged himself was with Revelation 14 13. He says, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord, for they shall rest from their labors. He saw other ones rest in peace. Of course, he didn't other ones, he said, for me to die is gain. As he was walking, he became happier and happier. He said, this looks like a very wonderful experience. 
Then he came to one which made him pause. Do you want to know what was written on there? <laughs> it was written, I was once like you. And you will soon be like me. <laughs> I was once like you. And you will soon be like me. <laughs> he was shocked. Because the dead person was telling him. You are soon coming here to join Your life is a vapor and it is not something that you can just end. And That's why I say all dead people are still alive. God gave you your life. It's not something you can just throw away. Revelation chapter 4, verse 11 says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure. They are and were created. Revelation chapter 4, verse 11, verse 4. Uti, Marapara, Marazuki Sutiko, Otale, Yokindo, Fanunuguzugo, yes, doesn't slay. God, Utiko, has made everybody here alive. When they won't come to Olapa, Wapi. And why? It's not something that is going to end. And you can't end it. There are people who think they can commit suicide and end everything. You cannot end it. Judas thought he was ending everything by killing himself. That it's over. It's not over. Adolf Hitler. There were 42 attempts to kill him whilst he was alive. On the last day when they were just a few meters away from arresting him, he decided to kill himself with his wife to end it all after causing the death of 50 million people in this world he wanted to just exit but you cannot just exit where are you going all dead people are still alive hmm? say something yeah. Hitler thought that oh, we can just, I can just come to this world and kill 50 million people, torture people, harm people, and then exit. It's over. Hey, nobody, I don't want to see you. Everything but Hitler, and Abu Lalan there are people here who think when I die, it's over. But it's not over. The Bible says it is appointed to man once to die. And after that, it's a court case. You are going to court as soon as you die. You are going to court. Those of you who have never been to court, you may go tomorrow to court and practice what it's like for your judgment day, I tell you. Evidence will be brought. 
Zaudin Videos of your life. If it is Photographs. In pictures. Of your secret places. And of the secrets of your life. No, It is appointed to man once to die. After that, court. We are going to court. We are court. You cannot end anything. I will not pencil. Yes. Yes. Death is both a blessing and an enemy. It is something that looks bad but is also good. Yeah. Uh, if there was no way of dying, people like Adolf Hitler will still be around after a hundred years. Before you realize, he has escaped from prison and is back to continue. Many of the wicked people in this world. It is a deliverance to this earth that they have been forced to vanish. Yes. yes. We were created to live forever. But death has also come to deliver this world from some of the plenty evil. There are many killers and wicked people whose exit has been praised when they die. Adolf Hitler said, tomorrow morning, the whole world will curse me when he was about to kill himself. He said, tomorrow the whole world will curse me. What to Hitler? Because he knew what he had done. But it does not go what do I pay? like that. I have a lot of in Luke chapter 16, Luke chapter 16, the Bible says there was a certain rich man clothed in purple. Purple. Is there somebody with purple? Give me that bag. That's purple. No, no, behind it. This is the color. Rich people wear this color. When you wear this color, you are rich. Are you wearing something purple? Okay, 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 okay. We accept that you are rich. He was clothed in purple and fine linen. Why there is purple in the fine And he fed sumptuously every day. He was eating KFC. And what are your nice food that you have here? KFC, the Nando's, Nando's, and what else? What is your Spare. favorite food? Spare. Spare. In the house, what do you eat? Meat. Meat. Nice meat. Meat. Yeah. Chisanyama. Chisanyama. Wow. Hey. Hmm. And the rich man had a beggar called Lazarus. Lazarus. And Lazarus was laid at the gate of the rich man. Desiring to be fed from the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. And the Bible says, moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. He, was, he had sores on his legs. And he couldn't afford the hospital, so the dogs were his nurses. And, and the dogs would come every 
morning to lick the blood and the brown red mucus and other liquids which were coming out of the and he was looking for the rich man to throw some of the KFC and the Nando's bones. Over. And he would be lying the dogs, brown dogs, black dogs, black and white dogs, big ones, short ones. They were all licking. <laughs> And one day, I'm sure one of the dogs bit a piece of meat. Because if you are licking, you can easily bite a piece. And when the dog bit him, and some of his meat, it became infected. And the poor man had fever and he died hey. but I told you when you die it's not over the Bible says when he died when you die you get up and you see your body lying on the floor and angels Angels came and carried Lazarus up into Abraham's bosom. Hallelujah. Amen. Angels. Angels. Go read your Bible. I'm the Bible. When you know God and you die, the, the evil spirits would want to come for you. But God sends a convoy of angels. Hey. I pray for these politicians who are driving in convoys. Because if you are a politician, you are used to driving in convoys of Penny, 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 and you die, and no convoy comes for you. It is to be a problem. Hey. Hey. So the rich man, he was traveling to France. Where France? Smoking his cigar. A child is Drinking his whiskey. A seller is whiskey. With two of his girlfriends. Wow. Wow. He was having a great time. Suddenly, doing a scoop. Hot. And he died. Hey. <laughs> but I told you when you die, it's not over. And the rich man got up and he saw his body lying there. No angels. No angels. No angels. Demons. 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 And the rich man. Go away. Go. You see, when you don't know God, an angel. You see, look at this uh, demons. <laughs> Timor. Demons. Demons. I tell you, those Timor. those who don't know God. I fear for you. Yes. 
I tell you, it's very scary. scary. You will go again. One night I was on a plane, Air France. I was flying from Senegal. Senegal. We had a crusade in the capital city of Senegal. Pa, a capital city of Senegal. Dakar. A Dakar. We took off on the Air France. Some kind of Air France. At about ten or eleven. Pango, you rake eleven. I got ten. At about two a.m. Who took sin? I was sleeping. In land. And I heard an announcement. Dava. Is there any doctor on board? If you can please identify yourself. When I heard, I said, Ah! That over. Doctor, at this time I'm sleeping. I cannot get up. So I, I just continued sleeping. That Kobega and Len. Then I heard the announcement again. If you are a doctor, please identify yourself. So I said, no other doctor has owned up. So I lifted my hand. I said, I'm here. Please come. They took me. And there was a man sitting with his father. The man was sitting by the window. His father was sitting on the aisle seat. So what is wrong? He said, he's not talking. He's not moving. So I said, what happened? He said, nothing. We ate. We drank. We had dessert. Coffee, coffee, everything. Young we are flying. We are two white men. We are flying to Paris. He's not moving. He's not talking. I touched him. I took the stethoscope. I checked his heart. His eyes. I said that he's gone. He's gone. And I didn't feel dead raising anointing that that and, to and even that is you should not feel like that. Hey! Hey! <laughs> yes, he's gone. Just hey. like that. No announcement. I got announcement. And his son was very distraught. Because you see, nobody knows the hour. I come to us here in you the time. The class when you will vanish. He was gone. When we arrived in Paris, Paris, they made all of us sit down. And and the hospital people came on board and took him off. Yeah. Nobody knows the time when is your time to vanish. Yeah. But as soon as you may be in the air. As we were in the air. After that, and then go court. They get caught. Court case. Yes. I didn't write the Bible. Candy Bali Bible. Judgment comes after court. It's court. Judgment means there's court. court. The rich man died, and the Bible says, in hell. He lifted up his eyes. In this case, be safe. Is the Bible as you walk in? What parents are making work? Eyes? Mekko. I thought we buried his eyes. Is to make one song of Bill Amesh. He lifted up his eyes. Parents are making. And being in torment, torment. It means he was feeling pain. To to be sick. To to be sick. Better take a packet of Panadol with you when you are going to hell. Better take your pocket of Ramadan and painkillers. I tell you, you are going to need painkillers over there. Who's on TV? Painkillers. So quick. Hey! Torment. To turn the sick. And he sees. But chong. The eyes were working. Amesha Sebenza. He sees. But chong. Abraham. 
Abraham, far off. And who did he see? Wabona Laban. No other than Lazarus. His own friend Lazarus. Lazarus was having a good time. Give me the Lazarus. Lazarus was. Lazarus was having a drink. Lazarus is a cello. Lazarus was drinking heavenly Pepsi Cola. Lazarus was drinking Pepsi Cola. Lazarus called. Oh, can some of the angels take a picture? I want to send to my relatives. Lazarus, I don't have pictures. If you lose together, this is a Lazarus. I'm yet to get a mobile phone, but you take pictures, please. <laughs> I just arrived in heaven. Sanzano <laughs> Fiabesuli. Lazarus was Lazarus was enjoying. Lazarus was enjoying. And the rich man escaped. Was in hell. Where by Sopwin? Crying. A car. He said, Father Abraham, please. What Can you send Lazarus? Oh no, to me about Lazarus. Do you know why? Do you know why he asked to send Lazarus? Shall I tell you why? Rich people are used to sending people, you know. Listen. Go and get this for me, you know? Can you go and get this for me? Can you make a cup of tea for me? Can you get me this? Can you get it? Oh, go and fetch this for me. He is not used to not being a rich man on in Port Elizabeth anymore. He's not used to it. Can you go and get this for me? He said, can you send Lazarus? I'm not to know Lazarus. To get me just a drop. Father Abraham. Abraham. I don't want to ask for much. I wouldn't even bother to bother with a bottle. Or even a glass. I don't want a glass. I don't even want a bottle. Just a drop. Drop. A drop. A drop. Look, there is a place. Window. They don't ask for bottles. About ten is body. A drop. Like this. Yeah. There is a place. Call it out. You people, I tell you, you see, I don't know sometimes what we are preaching about. But there is a place they don't ask for. Bottles. They don't ask for bottles or glasses. But ten is body. Yeah. And Abraham said no. What do Abraham? I look when you are here, anything you ask God, you know, you Jesus, the answer is yes. When you go to hell, everything you ask, the answer is no. You know, you know, then the rich man escaped, said, Father Abraham, what do Abraham? Can you send Lazarus? Again, I told you, they are used to sending people. Can you send Lazarus to my love. father's house? But I am going to get that. I, I have five you. brothers in Nelson Mandela Bay. They are just like me. They never, no brother, but son, no ape, pie, but for an They are just like me. For an Wicked people. But Koshakel. I know they are coming here. They are yes, Baza. And uh, Abraham said, No. What do Abraham? I look at the rich man in hell. No. He said, because there is between us and you a great gulf. Fixed. So that they that would pass from thence to hands cannot. cannot pass. Cannot cross. Neither can they pass from tens to hands. And he said, if someone were to go from the dead, they would not believe him. Then Abraham said, What do Abraham? They have the prophets. Let them hear them. Pastors and prophets, 
You're supposed to be warning people about heaven and hell, not preaching about money and prosperity every day. Let them hear the prophets. Instead of giving yourself to do social things, you're speaking to warn people about eternal judgment. You call yourself a prophet? And and a prophet? Prophet? Now you preach about his success? What about hell? What about heaven? What about God's word? To the song of the soul. Musabas got you hear some pastors so have the audacity to say that Jesus came to speak more about money than anything. Nonsense. Nonsense. Jesus told us, this is Jesus, Luke 16. These are the words of Jesus in red. When you read your Bible, it's in red. All dead people are still as I speak, they are alive. Let them hear them. But when they are alive, either in heaven or in hell. Look, people don't know why God sent his son. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will have three houses and eight cars in Port Elizabeth. No. Read it. John 3.16. John, John 3, 16, Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus that whoever black or white or colored or Indian or green believes in him will not perish will not perish will not perish but have everlasting life that is why God sent Jesus to this world that is why that is why. That is why. All dead people are still alive. All dead people are still alive. But they are either in heaven or in hell. John 3:17. God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. No. But that the world through him might have life. You are not condemned. Look at my hand. Jesus sent me to invite you. To come to him. To come to the cross. To open your heart. To be washed in his blood. What can wash away your sins? The blood of Jesus. Only one thing. Can make it possible for you to go to heaven. Yeah. That is why God sent Jesus. His wonderful blood. Because why would you go to hell? Romans 3.23 says the wages or the payment for your sins is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. God do you know anybody who is dead? Huh? Think about the person right now. The person wishes he could send you a text. You see, dead people are trying to communicate with us, but they have been cut off. Yeah. There is a prison in America. 
is called Supermax. Security Security Super Max. Supermax. Supermax. I know somebody who was put into that prison in, in 19... Um, we are in the year 2000. He has been given 250 years sentence. 250 years sentence pa Supermax. Supermax prison. Supermax. Are you listening? My man. It's 7 feet by 11 feet. 7 feet go 11 feet. 7 feet is the size of a bed. Seven feet ke eh um kamonga nge pet. Seven feet by eleven feet. Seven by eleven. He has feet. been given two hundred and fifty years. Wanikwa iminyaka e two hundred. Even the people who bring him food, na banga bam seluguta, cannot see him. Abana mbona. They pass the food through various. Channel. So he has not seen any human being. But since 2000, it's called Supermax. Supermax. He cannot make contact with human beings. Yeah. You see, people who are in hell, they are in. Mega Supermax. But we mega, mega Supermax. Supermax. Hey. Supermax. Hey. 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 They can also not make contact. Now, Baba, now come, Shalom. Do you know? Do you know any relative of yours who is alive? I tell who is dead. I tell you, he's alive. Wongo um zalo si zalo ne sako esi esi swaswele ga ya kelen si kon. Our first president Kwame Nkrumah, as our mayor told us, President we took uh, Kwame Nkrumah. He's a, he's alive. Go. He's somewhere. No, I don't know where he is. Aliazu. <laughs> I can't tell, but I know that he's alive. Aliazu. Hey. And your and your icon, Nelson Mandela, is also alive. No I way, no he, he, will, he will love to send a message from where he is. I don't know where he is. We will uh -huh. find out when you die. When you die, who are those here? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah. My, Michael Jackson is alive. Michael Jackson, no call. Somewhere. <laughs> Princess Diana. Princess Diana. She's somewhere. Go now, Agu. Your sister. Your sister what? Is alive. God. Your brother. Mdagwe. Your father. Dadak. All dead people. Bonke abantu ababupile are still alive. Because he disappointed. Once to die. After that, you are so alive that you can go to court. You are so alive. You are so full of energy and life. Better take your painkillers with you. This is why Lord, God sent Jesus Christ. Lord, to this world. World. So that you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when me, Nam, him, Nam, will not go to hell, but have everlasting life. Why don't you clap for Jesus Christ for come come such else. a wonderful <laughs> blessing? <laughs> He is the savior Shai. of the world. Um, the savior um, of the so world. Um, Jesus so Christ is we the savior so of the world. Um, so that is why we call Jesus the savior. He has um, um, uh, actually come to say, Jesus did not sindis. come to save us from lack of water or lack of electricity. Or the lack of good schools. 
not even to come and save us from sicknesses and what have you. Matthew 121 says, He shall save the people from their sins. It is our sins that are Wow. wow. How many want to go straight to heaven? No, hey. hey! Can you imagine how some rich people feel? I know one guy. He died twice. Yes. He had a heart condition. And his heart stopped. He was a Methodist. Why say we see? As soon as he died, what took for work? Alex, he went down. Down. Disappeared into the air. He was shocked. He started shouting. What and the Methodist. I'm the one who you see. You may be a Methodist or a non-methodical Methodist or a, 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 a Jesus is not in your heart, my friend. Except a man is born again, he can enter the kingdom of heaven. He went down. Then he got healed. And he got saved. He became a Christian. Whilst he was sick, or not, he was still sick. And his heart stopped again. This time, he, he went, went up. He went up. Yeah. In fact, he said, "What?" He was reading the Bible. He said, "Look, I don't need to read the Bible to know about heaven or hell." He said, "No, no, I I've been there. Bible and the second time he went up. Because he, 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 he was now saved. Yeah. He's, people are shocked though. I hear there's a special place for people who are surprised. That's what we, 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 a we, 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 for those who, who think the devil is not real. Like there's a special area for them. People who live in the mansions of Port Elizabeth. You know, I pray that you have a mansion. I heard of one rich lady. She had a and she died and she went to heaven. She was a Christian. She went to heaven. And her servant also had died earlier. When she got to heaven, the angel was taking her to the place. They were going and going. They came to some barracks. You know barracks? Yes, barracks. Like soldiers, like going down the trees. And they told this lady, "Yeah, here." <laughs> she was she was surprised. She said, this is, "They said, yeah, this is where you are." Staying. And she said, well, "Where is my servant?" So, that, that mansion over there, your servant is up there. And the lady said, that's not fair. That's not fair. Why should I be in this dormitory? And this servant is up there in the mansion. Ladies and gentlemen, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Hey! That's why you should serve God. Lord of the womb calls you. I told you when you were on earth. What you know, you know, rich people don't give. If you are a pastor for many years, you know rich people don't give money. They just drive their nice cars to church. Give time. They don't give money. He said, you were not giving money, but your servant was taking all that she had and putting it in the offering. They told her, no argument in heaven. In there, quickly. Shut up. <laughs> How many are glad that Jesus died? How many are expecting to go to heaven direct, direct? Hey, hey. there is only one way. 
And that is through Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet. Let's pray. All dead people are where? Hey. Seven feet by 11 feet. Since the year 2000. So year 2000. I don't want to mention his name. He's in that prison. And full of Yes. Supermax. 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 Heaven has double mega supermax. It's, it's, it's hell, double hell, mega hell, hell, hell. supermax. Yeah. Hell, hell. Close your so, eyes. Let me show you. So tend us. If you are here tonight, you want Jesus to wash away your sins. As as sham is on Ozako. Listen. Pula pula. There are many people who have done bad things. Nobody caught you. Not so with God. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord. Are Beholding the good and the evil. For man, you can fool him. We, we pastors, you can fool us. Because we are just men. But God, you cannot fool. God, Tonight, oh, no, as every head is bowed. Song is, could be if you way. want to say, Jesus, I know I am a sinner. I know I deserve to go to hell. Please pray with me. I want the blood of Jesus to wash away my sins. And I want to receive Jesus as my Savior. If you are here like that today, you want to say, Pastor, help me. I want to know God. I want Jesus to come into my life and save me today. And sin this and if I'm you are here like that, you want you Jesus have. to wash away your sins. Then lift your right hand. Just lift your right hand up. High. And I'm going to pray with you. Your right hand must be up high. I want to receive Jesus tonight as my Savior and my Lord. Your right hand, just your right hand, must be up. And say this prayer with me. Say Jesus. 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 I can't hear you say Jesus. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for tonight. Oh God. Oh God. I know I am a sinner. I know I am a sinner. Oh Jesus. I know I am a sinner. I know I am a sinner. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please wash away my sins. Please wash away my sins. With the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. Please forgive me. Please have mercy on me. Please have mercy. Please wash away my sins. With the blood of Jesus. Tonight. Say tonight. I open my heart. I receive Jesus. As my savior. As my master. As my Lord. Jesus. Come into my heart. Change me. Save me. Wash me. With your precious blood. Thank you Lord. For saving me today. I love you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. For saving me today. Now if you've lifted your hand. And you are very serious. You really want to follow Jesus. From tonight. Then with your hand lifted up. Much to the front. Kauleza. Kauleza. Come from, the front. Come, Come from wherever you are standing. You want to turn away from your sins. You want to turn away from your sins. You want to turn away from your wicked ways. 
You want to come to God? You want to say, Satan, I will not serve you anymore. I'm following Jesus. Come on to the front. Come quickly. With your hand lifted up. With your hand lifted up. I'm turning away from my sin. I'm turning away from wickedness. I'm following Jesus. From tonight. I want to serve God. I'm serving Jesus. Turn your hand. Up. Come to the front. Come all the way. This way. Make a way for the people. Jesus. Keep coming. Keep coming. Isa, keep Isa, coming. Isa, Isa, Isa. Keep coming. Isa. Isa. Keep coming. Isa. Come on, my friend. Isa. Come on, my brother. Isa. Come to God. Isa, yes. Come to Jesus. Isa, yes. Tonight. Go, go, it's your night. Go, go, go. Salvation. Go, go, go. Turn around. Turn around. Go, go, go. Come to God. Isa, go, go. Tonight. Go, go, go. Jesus is calling you. Yes, yes, yes. Turn away from evil. Turn away from sin. Sin. Turn away from murder. And come to God. Come on, I'm waiting. Come on. Can you move back this way. Move back this way. So that people can come. Now lift your hands again. Where, wherever, wherever, okay. There's a little more space here. Wherever you've reached, keep your hand up. Nobody should leave. Don't leave. We are close. Don't walk away, please. Don't walk out. Lift your hand up quickly. And everybody also lift your hand. Join. Say this prayer. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I'm tired of fooling around. I'm tired of walking in sin. Tonight is my night. I come to the cross. I'm turning around. Lord Jesus, please wash away my sins. Cleanse me. I am sorry for my sins. I have done many very bad things. Please forgive me tonight. I am, sorry. I, am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am turning around. I am turning around. And, I and I receive Jesus. I open my heart. I, open my heart. I receive Jesus, I receive Jesus. As, my as my Savior and my Master and my, master. And my, Lord. And my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please, come into my heart Please come into my heart and change me now. Change me, change me Lord. Change Change me by your power. Say it out loud. Change me by your power. Thank you, Jesus. I believe in you. I believe in you. And I will serve you from tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please lead them in, in, in the... Yes. Yes. Dia kolo ukuba wena wandi fail dia vuma gomlo mawam ukuba wena uinkosi dia kwamke gena tizwe nyami moyo ingwele di salise gamanta di kukonze di ngachiki. Diku tande, diku tande, diku tande, diabanga, 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 eka meni vigayes. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Now. Now. Thank you, Jesus. All of you who received Jesus Christ tonight, this is the first step. This steps of Allah is tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. 
There is a very important power conference here for you. Google It is very important that you come because you have just received Jesus Christ. You are going to be taught the word of God. And you are also going to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. With the evidence of speaking of tongues. The power of God will be here to heal you. Also, there are counselors who need to meet with you. They will be here tomorrow morning to take your details. So if you are serious about this decision, make sure you come here tomorrow morning. God bless you. Now listen. Mamela. No one should, you know, when you walk out, you people can feel that you are walking out. So what you are doing is that you are closing the service. That is a very bad thing. So respect the service for just another five, ten minutes. Amen. Tomorrow, Amen. How many respect God? If your president was here, you wouldn't just walk out. And Jesus is here tonight, so don't just walk out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of us know that Jesus is also a healing Jesus? Do you believe that Jesus can heal you tonight? You, you must expect many, many great miracles. Because Jesus is a healing Jesus. Whatever problem you have. Whatever curse. Whatever bondage. It shall bow to the name of Jesus. The Bible says every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. That Jesus Christ. Is Lord. There was a woman with an issue of blood for 12 years. When she heard of Jesus, she said, if I touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. Tonight, Jesus is walking all over this place. I, I personally cannot heal anybody. If I could heal people, I would go to the hospital tonight and discharge and all the doctors in Port Elizabeth will be angry with me for taking their work. But what I can do is to pray for you. God, when you when you and the power of the Holy Spirit will come upon your life. And Jesus will heal you. Yes, so How many expect Jesus to touch your life? Yes, so change you. He's a healing Jesus. Yes, so a healing Jesus. He's healing Jesus. He's healing you. In Jesus' name. He's a healing Jesus, a healing Jesus, he's healing you in Jesus' name right now. Lift your hand and sing, he's a healing oh, Jesus. He's a healing Right now, place your hand wherever your problem is. Is the Lord that healeth us tonight? He said, I will bless your bread. I will bless your water. I will take away sickness from the midst of you. Whatever case, whatever problem, Jesus 
yes. is the one oh, yeah. who can take it away from oh, you. No, Tonight, go go we have HIV. So no HIV. As we pray tonight, as believe that God. the diagnosis will change oh, by the power of the Holy Spirit. You may, be, you may have a lamp in your breast as you put your hand on your breast what should have killed you will disappear in the name of Jesus pain is disappearing tonight cripples are walking tonight you cannot see but Jesus is touching eyes tonight. Place your hand there quickly. The power of the Holy Spirit is here. Father, thank you for your power. Right now I ask that you touch every person here tonight. Let your miracle power flow. Receive your healing right now. He is the Lord that healed thee, Jehovah Rophe. His name is Jehovah Rophi, the Lord that healed thee. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Every pain is going. Every back pain is going. Every lump, every diagnosis is over 10. Receive the power of God right now. Madness is cured right now. Receive it in Jesus' name. Lift your hand and thank God right now. Lift your hand and thank God right now. for a moment there are, so, there are so many miracles here right now so many 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 things have happened right now it's happening it has happened it is happening, it has happened. It is happening. check your eyes somebody here your eyes have opened you couldn't see but you can see check where the pain was whatever you couldn't do before begin to do it now miracles miracles mighty things have happened right now check yourself right now every eye closed for one moment if God has touched you maybe you had a pain but the pain is gone check yourself maybe you had a lamp but it's gone check yourself whatever you couldn't do before check yourself if God has touched you tonight not that you are believing that it will happen in the future but right now you can see that something has happened God has touched you tonight you can see practically something has happened then lift up your hand if God has healed you tonight something has happened you can sense that something has happened not that you are thinking it will happen no, in the future. You, think, you, you couldn't see, but you can see. You couldn't hear, but you can hear. If God has healed you tonight, God has touched you tonight, I want you to come to the front. Quickly. Yes. Make your way. Front on the side here. If you lifted your hand, God has touched you. Come. 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 Come quickly. If God has healed you, come to the side here. Come. 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 Come.
Isaac. Come, Isaac. If God has healed you, if you quickly, 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 quickly. Quick, Isaac. The power of God is here. Wherever you are, God has done wonderful things. There are many, 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 many miracles. Wherever you are, way at the back, the power of God is here. God is doing wonderful miracles. You couldn't walk. Rise and be healed. Rise and be healed. Rise and be healed. Wherever you are, there is somebody here you had a lamp in your breast check yourself quickly something wonderful is happening the power of God is here you couldn't hear but now you can hear come 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 quickly come all the way to the side here quickly See I could do this quickly, quickly. See I could do this. Everybody lift your hand quickly. Some people here are being tormented by evil spirits. If you are being tormented by evil spirits, place your hand on your head quickly. Satan, I bind your power in Jesus' name. I rebuke you. Every evil tormenting spirit. Harassing the people of God. I break your power now. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Lift your hand quickly and thank God right now. You are free from every evil power. Of darkness right now. Oh. Oh, 
she could not walk without this wow. this evening the drivers went to pick him up driver he saw her she couldn't walk he had to stand up in the bus and give her a place to sit wow. because of her condition wow. evangelist this evening yes. as you pray the power of God has healed the leg and look at it Tell us. Crying. She's crying. Why are you crying? Tell us. What happened to you? I was falling on the stairs. Then you went with stairs. She was what? I was falling on the stairs. Fell. fell, fell yeah. Yes, I was fell on the stairs. Wow. You couldn't walk without this. God has touched you tonight. Yes. Wow. And you can walk now. Walk again. Let's see. Walk again. Let's see. Walk again. Let's see. Walk again. Miracles are fantastic. Yes. Even Mangaliso. Sometimes when a miracle happens, you wonder whether it is real. The first time, the first time in my life, 15 years ago, or 14 years ago, a blind man was healed. He stood there. Without moving, I said, what is wrong with you? He said, I was blind. And I said, what has happened now? He said, I can see. He didn't even smile. He didn't shout. He didn't clap. So I kept asking him, are you sure? He said, I'm sure. I was blind. But I can see. Give Jesus a shout. Give the Lord a shout. Give the Lord a shout. Give the Lord a shout. This is such a powerful miracle. This lady for one year, she had pain in her arm. She couldn't lift her arm up. Even when she wanted to give her life to Jesus. She had to do this. But when you prayed evangelist, the Holy Spirit came upon her. Doctor, what what is this? This lady could not lift. She, can you imagine? You want to give your life to Christ. You have to. Did she have a stroke? Why did you have a stroke? Mm -hmm. No. They said they say, they say to me it's, it's going to be the light stroke, yes. One time I'm going to have the light stroke. What is this? What condition is this? This is likely to be osteoarthritis of the shoulder joint. Or what we call adhesive capsulitis. This is a medical doctor specialist. I brought it okay. to Which freezes the shoulder and you cannot and move this is inflammation. And tonight the power of God has God, freed God, the, God, the, God, the, God, the muscles. God, Lift your hand up. Everybody shout Jesus. Everybody shout Jesus. Everybody shout Jesus. Everybody shout Jesus. Doctor, what is this? So many miracles, evangelists for one year. This woman was deaf in the right ear. Tonight, the power of God has opened this right ear. I don't believe it. My, you you believe she it. said what? You don't believe it? I believe it. My ears is back and I, for the first time I came here, I told my neighbor, I'm going to take my ear back.
You couldn't hear from this side. Who yes. Can? It was so painful when I go to the doctor and they ask me, what did you do to your ear? I said, nothing I didn't do in my ear. The only thing I know, my husband slapped me in my ear. That's when you see. Everybody shout, hey. Come on and shout, hey. Doctor, what could a slap have done to her ear? A slap could have ruptured her tympanic membrane. What? There is, there is something like a sheet in the ear. Like, that, a, 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 like a drum. Give me the drums. Give me the drums. Your small drum. The snare drum. Yeah. And a, a drumstick. Drumstick. Your ear is like this. So when you get a slap, when, when you get a slap like that, wow, wheelchair. Give the Lord a shout. Wait, we are taking the miracles one by one. When you get a slap, this, this thing can break. Yes, it can tear. It's a membrane. It can break or tear. And that ends your ability to hear in that ear. Because it's not just a cloth or a membrane like this. There are bones that are attached to it. Three, three bones. I'm a tab, I'm a tab. That are connected to it. So when you slap here, these bones can can even dislocate the bones. So what she's saying, this is a miracle. This is a miracle. Close this one. Can you hear? Close it very well. Yes, I hear you. Yes, I hear you. Yes, I hear you. Yes, I hear you. <laughs> Jesus! Wait, wait, wait! Close it. Close it very well. I am healed. I am healed. Deep in the <laughs> she's, she's even angry that you are asking her. <laughs> Ask her. He is a healing Jesus. 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 So before you could not hear from that. Yes, it was so painful. Even when I came here, my ear was painful. Wow! I can't hear. And when I use the system to look at you when I when I speak with somebody, I look at them on the face, but with the timing. Can't you tell to flag them to what? She uses the timing of the lips to know what he's saying. To read the lips. reading. Wow! She uses the lips to know what he's saying. So when you can't hear, you can't hear unless you can also see. You see, then when the person speaks. Wow. Why don't you give Jesus a shot? Give the Lord a shot. 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 We can talk about the money. We can talk about the money. Olivia, what is happening? Evangelist for three years. Evangelist can be taught. Three years, this woman you see walking here wow. was in this wheelchair, tied to the wheelchair, and any time she has to get up, she needed these also, so she had to use this and this, and this is the first time in three years, she's standing on her own, where are your relatives, your friends, her daughter, they are surprised. Is it true? Yes, it's true. It's true. Uh, what happened? Is this your mother? What happened to your mother? I, I don't know what happened. And that's when they But what has happened to her tonight? She's healed. Upilisi. She's healed. Upilisi. You can see she's healed. Mama, what happened to you tonight? Jesus healed me. We are so upilisi. Everybody shout Jesus. Come on and shout Jesus. Give the Lord a dance. 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 We can talk about the money. We can talk about the money. We can talk about the money. Hallelujah. Let's turn it up.
in three years. Evangelist. First time walking First like this time. in three we years. What a blessing. Stretch out your hand towards this lady. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thanks for your Thank power, you, Father. your mercy, your the healing. Holy Spirit. Whatever case, we reverse it in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. BDR, what is happening? Evangelist, so many powerful miracles. So many miracles. You mentioned breast lamps disappearing. This young lady had a lamp in her left breast. In addition, she had a lot of pain and numbness. Tonight, evangelist, when you pray, the Holy Spirit came over her. The lamp has disappeared. The lamp is gone? The lamp is gone. How do you know the lamp is gone? I examined her myself. Are you a doctor? Yes. This is a medical doctor from Memphis, USA. She came all the way from Memphis, USA. You checked her breast? I checked her breast. Gone. There is no lamp. lamp. There is no lamp. Give the Lord a mighty Hallelujah! Give the Lord a shout. 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 Evangelist, this lady suffered from a stiff neck. There is somebody who cannot see. There is an eye. This one. There is an eye. Somebody could. This one. Okay, an eye. Check. There is an eye. Somebody could not see. Four years. Says when you call. When you call in the to tell the whole body. Come and stand here. Stand here. What happened? What's the Speak your language. What's the And the problem in um, I had a neck problem. For four years. Four years. I could not turn. I could not turn. I could not even look behind. It was difficult to turn around, but now I can look. There is no pain. There is no pain. Wow. Doctor, what is what is this disease? People have been suffering from spondylosis. Ebenema, the cervical spine. Or sometimes you can have it with what we call spasm. Okanye is spasm. Paraspinal muscle spasm. Paraspinal muscle spasm. In the cervical region. In the cervical region. Everybody shout, hey! Everybody shout, hey! Give them all that shot! Give them all that shot! Happy, are you happy? We are fuya, we are fuya. I'm happy because we are fuya. I'm telling you no. Because we are happy. Nobody is 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 happy. Doctor, what is happening? Something is happening in Nelson Mandela Bay. This lady was standing at the back while you were preaching. She could not see anything on the stage. When you prayed, she put her hand on her eye. After you prayed, her eyes got open. My God, she can see clearly. She could not even read. Is it true? Yes, it's true. You were standing where? Yeah. Where were you standing? There, the back. But I didn't see nothing. I couldn't. My eyes couldn't see nothing. That, but now I can read. Now there was no phone. <laughs> okay, she wants to read. Mm. The great love of God will change of your, our lives forever. Wow. <laughs> Again. Jesus, tonight is the first night. Listen, everybody here, I want you to promise, is Jesus doing wonderful miracles here? Yes, we want to remember I want you to promise that tomorrow night, everybody here is going to come with Five people. How many are going to come with five people? Miracles tonight. Wow. She can read clearly. Can read. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh, 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 Wow. Olivia. Evangelist, this 
man was on admission for TV and he lost his sight. He could not see anything that was found. <laughs> Tonight, after you pray, even you can tell what we are born up when they can go in Goku Paya. Can you see now? We are born. No, we are born. Ask him what has changed. What has happened? When they can do it, they are born and they are born. They are born and go up and go. I can see people clearly now. Ubuqua Zubon and Pambi. Then I bought, then I was born. I couldn't see before. Wow, you see, even if you don't believe in miracles, a man is saying he could not see, he can see people. Amen. You are forced to believe. Amen. Call wow. Jesus is a wonderful healing Jesus. Amen. Give the Lord a mighty clap offering. Hallelujah. Amen. What is this? A strange thing happened to this woman two months ago. She developed numbness in her left foot. It was so bad she needed a walking stick to walk. But tonight, as she prayed, she felt something going through her ear. And then the numbness disappeared. And now she can lift her feet. Now she can lift her feet. We are about to submit to the Lord. Are you excited tonight? Yeah, Very much. Why are you excited? Because I'll get healed tonight. Wow. Is it not wonderful the way Jesus mm -hmm. chooses people and is healing? We are Jesus Jesus healed me tonight. I felt like a screwdriver drilling in my ear. Screwdriver. Yes. Screwdriver. Yes. Jesus screwdriver is screwing out all oh, yes, 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 so, so, yes, 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 Jesus lady had bodily pains and pain at the back. Wow. Wow. So in pain pain is gone. Gone. And the pain is gone. Let them come. Thank you, Jesus. Se severe pain in the side here. It's also gone tonight. Thank you, Lord. So many miracles. Come. So so many miracles. 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 Tomorrow night, we continue. Hallelujah. And God is doing great things. Yes. Yes. The beginning of yes. miracles. So many miracles. The beginning of miracles. The beginning of miracles. The beginning of What is this? Thank you, Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your touch. Thank you, Lord. In the name By the blood of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' name. Jesus. of the Lord. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Receive your child. There is hope oh, yes. in the name hope of the Lord. Hope in the name of the Lord. Jesus, thank you. Bless us. Father, I pray for your mercy. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy, Lord. In the name of the Lord. My God. My God. And when my plans are falling through, Father, I pray for your mercy. And when mercy, my mercy. strength is nearly mercy. gone, my God, my God, my God. When there's nothing left to do, I just depend on you, oh Lord, and the power of your name. Father, thank you for your power of healing. In Jesus name, and as we call my Lord and my God, name, come in all of this wheelchair by your mercy, by your mercy, do we Jesus. Pass the Jesus, Jesus, we can go the Jesus. master's plan, we can accept the master's Father, hand, thank you for your healing. when we call in the, in the name, name of the Lord, of the Lord. in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. And there is oh, in the name of the Lord. Oh, Father, thank yes, you. Yes, there is hope in the name of 
Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.